Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon and Gemini Rising we weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for December 31st to January 6th, 2019. So while I'm shuffling the cards, uh, I want to remind you once again that that is a general reading for uh, Gemini star signs, therefore is going to resonate in a different way and in a different level for every single different Gemini um, on this planet. So <clears throat> I will try here my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread but uh, you got to basically align them to your personal situation as every Gemini will have different situation um, <clears throat> or the situations for every different Gemini are going to differentiate. If you want uh, me to do that for you, just like I'm doing for the examples in these videos, uh, you can go for a personal reading and um, to do so you just have to go to my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you're gonna find full list of my services as well as their pricings. So we do have the King of Pentacles into the general topic of the week, followed by the Queen of Swords, which is the core of the situation. Two of Pentacles here comes as a challenges that are causing predicaments. And the last one, we do have the Hierophant uh, as a uh, guidance that Taro is offering to you. And just from the um, overview of the cards, it does look like that small shenanigans are to happen here and there. So uh, the plans that you do have for that week are not going to be 100% accurately executed or they will not going to happen according to your expectations to their full extent. But um, the extent that they are going to develop uh, is going to be reasonable. So we don't have a, a huge difference uh, from what you're expecting of what is happening. Uh, that is displayed here in these couple of cards, but let's dive a bit deeper into every single tarot card. So the first one that is the King of Pentacles, and this is Gemini's how you stand, that is your topic. And what the King of Pentacles does is that <clears throat> The King of Pentacles first uh, solidify whatever he is working upon. So that means that this week it should be you focusing to solidify whatever you are working on from your past that you are carrying throughout that week. And only when you finalize it to its maximum extent, then you should um, proceed on kind of placing new challenges or new goals or aims in front of yourself. Now, again, I um, said that you may face a certain uh, unexpected circumstances which are going to prevent you of uh, finalizing your deeds and enterprises in the time frame that you would like, but ultimately you will be able to finalize them one way or another. So what we're talking about here is a, a bit of a delay that you may experience but nothing more than that and also um, it does depend on the extent of the surprise. Maybe you will have to readapt your strategy but it will be nothing that you cannot handle. Now the King of Pentacles it is a, a very uh, potential card in case you are planning to invest into something. It is just these cards here are asking you to be careful uh, what you want to invest in or give it a, a second examination. Don't be way too premature with your decision what you want to invest in before you actually make a, a thorough research upon it because again with the two of pentacles here in that position it may some of the um, some of the facts on whatever you want to invest in and again investments doesn't have to be money it could be as well emotional uh, investment it could be time it could be effort so some of the facts there uh, could elude you for one or another reason the queen of swords here into the um, core position or what is the root of the matter it does speaks that you have to approach the situation 
either career or relationship wise quote unquote professionally in a sense of that you have to be very objective and logical when it comes to decision making and when it comes to uh, building up a, a strategy how to um, how to react generally on whatever is coming and it is thrown to you throughout the week because an emotional um, an emotional backlash from your behalf is only going to uh, blur your uh, your vision even further and even more circumstances and more facts are going to elude you moving forward with the future until at the end for those who are most emotional Geminis I'm afraid that Things could go very, very messy. Will you be able to sort them out? Yeah, but it's going to take much more time than it is worth. So important here again is to be rather um, sharp minded and cunning with, uh, with your thought and as well uh, be more calculative. Than being more uh, than being more emotional. Additionally, the Queen of Swords, as a core of the situation, it does point to that you will be more than capable to overcome whatever enterprise or undertaking it is. Um, it is awaiting you throughout the week. But again, research is uh, is in the core of the uh, of your success. As for the Queen of Swords, being forewarned means being for forearmed, and as well, it it, it will allow you it will allow you to uh, avoid some problems that may occur along the way. So, just to give an example here, um, let's go with a relationship one. And so, um, if you are single here, that card could mean. Uh, as I said, that you have to uh, solidify your deeds first. Then the King of Pentacles here represents um, your sorting out before one is ready to jump into a, a relationship. And this week is going to be a week where you have to thoroughly place the priorities for yourself you know what your suitor should do should look like what they need to have as a uh, for example a career or or as a settlement as well you know how they are sorted out in the grand scheme of things and you should not divide um, deviate excuse me from those criteria that you are to place in front of yourself the Two of Pentacles as I already mentioned that card speaks that you have to be rather flexible here and being able to adapt different and new strategies into your plan if things aren't happening exactly the way you have uh, imagining imagining them to happen that should not freak you out you know with a little bit of uh, deliberation uh, I am sure and and these cards are showing it that you will be able to fit and adapt very well uh, with the situation <clears throat> and for those who are quite clever I mean Gemini's who are quite clever and for those Gemini's who likes to be playful they like to kind of um, to solve puzzles if I may express myself that way um, and they are looking at every single um, surprise as an opportunity uh, that card points that even though challenging and even though it may cause you a bit of predicament you will be able to expand your environment uh, in many ways either career wise or either relationship wise the very least you will have the um, <clears throat> the opportunity to develop a thing into your um, into your environment in a very different way in a way that you did not imagine that you can do it but again very important is to rely on your previous experience and as well to make a thorough research and why is that now we do have the hierophant which falls as a guidance for you gemini and what the hierophant points is that everything happens the way it is supposed to basically so you don't have to be brilliant with your approach you don't have to uh, kind of like discover the hot water if i may express myself that way but you basically have to do it the way it is supposed to so just to give you an example here uh, if you do have a suitor all right first thing that you need to do is to sort your current things out so they don't cut you off guard then make your thorough research 
for them, know what they're doing with their free time, you know, uh, basically explore their life. Be ready to adapt yourself to that particular life and then start dating. I mean, you don't have to do anything else. Everything needs to go um, further the way everybody else before you did it. So basically, this is what the Hierophant points. Additionally, if you're feeling stuck throughout the week and you don't know what to do, this card points that there are or there will be a specific person there and in that case the Queen of Swords may play the role of that person <clears throat> which could give you the idea, the advice or it could tell you the way through how you can basically make your things work. So yeah, if you are feeling um, with, with no direction generally or you are facing a, a a problem that you cannot solve with your current uh, understanding, knowledge and means. Uh, there will be someone if you only ask for, for their help with advice of course that they are going to present you the solution of your, uh, of your difficulties. The Hierophant card uh, in a more profound level asks you to be as I said calculative uh, but to think in a long term. And what I mean with that is, let me give you that example, you are starting a project, alright, you should think for the long term benefits of that project instead of the short term benefits of it. So because uh, when we do have this card as a guidance, it is very likely that whatever you may initiate, it may not pay off at the start and because it doesn't pay off at the start, you may quickly exclude it uh, from, your, from your routine. Uh, but that will be a, a mistake. So again, research, it is the um, the mantra for you throughout that particular week. So this was the uh, tarot reading for you, Geminis. And now um, let me shuffle the Lenormand cards and they are going to show us a uh, event that you should either look forward to or try to avoid. All right, so the first card that is the sun, and the sun in Lenormand represents great amount of luck and as well huge success. Then the next one, this is going to be the letter. The letter may represent email, it could represent as well uh, a, a letter through the, the physical mail, and also it could represent documents. And the last one, this is going to be the bear. And the bear represents support, it does represent strong will, it could represent as well mother, right? Or uh, <clears throat> it could represent a abundance, kind of like a um, material support. So what we do have here is, is that uh, it does look like that some, how can I place it? So a, a letter or an announcement is going to come to you, Geminis that either a, a success of yours is going to be paid accurately or you are going to get a, a support for that um, for that success or based on that particular success or a, a very lucky announcement or kind of like a very lucky approval or through a great amount of luck you are going to receive a approval for funding or for a, a support that you can rely on for a, a quite a lot of time. So basically this is uh, your Tarot and Lenormand reading. Now whatever the Lenormand cards are pointing it does look like that is going to give you the means necessary uh, in order for you to persevere through that time that I told you that you will have to think for the long term prospect so you will have the means in order to traverse through the short term non-beneficial time toward the long term beneficial time of either project or of either relationship that you may have on your behalf. So yeah, that, that being said, that was your Tarot and Lenormand reading. And again, that was just a general reading for Gemini star sign. Therefore, it will resonate in a different level for every single uh, one of you. If you want a personal reading, just uh, in which I will analyze your situation, just like I analyzed the examples here in this uh, video, then uh, you can check out my website and there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. 
Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.